Hi, my name is Scott Kimbrell. I'm a field applications engineer at XSense. Um, we're here today to test inertial sensors on the track and meet many of our customers who are using the XSense products in their autonomous systems. We have a setup with data loggers, uh, two sensors that we're comparing, and uh, GPS antennas which are fed into our inertial measurement units. And um, we're going to measure the, the motion of this test vehicle today. So we're going to get on the track and get some data. We build an underlying platform, a middleware for autonomous vehicle development and deployment. We're using the XSense technology to help provide precise localization and guidance to uh, the teams using our cars today. Uh, we have these Kia Souls which are outfitted to drive autonomously or, or by wire if you will, meaning you can control them with a computer. We made those available to Udacity students uh, who are just completing the self-driving cars course. To, uh, to be able to run a race car around the track. So uh, XSense is providing the localization uh, input that they need to know, you know how fast they're going and where, they're, when, and where they are. At Autonomous Staff, we provide um, staff that helps other companies to get to autonomy. Um, that includes sensors and a platform that can be controlled by a computer. Um, on the sensor side, we provide LiDAR, radar, cameras. We have the software to fuse all the data together. And what's very important is to actually know where you are when you self-drive. And for that, we use a device from Accents. It's a very little combined GPS IMU unit. It's the MTI 710. And that you can see right over here. You see how small that is. Um, it tells you exactly where you're located. And if the GPS um, is denied or it's not available, then the IMU helps to predict on how far you have moved from the last time you had the GPS. So we use Accents as a part of our uh, grabbing data collections, IMU, GPS, RTK, HRS, and then we're really glad that we integrate with our infrastructure and then we use that data set to train and improve our neural networks. 